Marvel really has no idea what they're doing anymore. I mean, this is what I'm seeing here. I know a lot of people are going to sit there and say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's seemingly with the trailer of Echo, which came out just the other day, they've also announced that they're going to start having a separate banner, which certain projects will go under. Uh, it's going to be called Marvel Spotlight. And this is what they have to say about this. Marvel Spotlight gives us a platform to bring more grounded character-driven stories to the screen, and in the case of Echo, focusing on street-level stakes and larger or stakes over the MCU larger co continuity. Uh, that was from Winterbomb. Just like comic fans didn't need to read Avengers or Fantastic Four to enjoy a Ghost Rider Spotlight comic, or audience doesn't need to have seen other Marvel series to understand what's happening in Maya's story. It's interesting that Echo is the first show to be placed in the Marvel Spotlight category as it is a spinoff of Hawkeye, which is where Echo first appeared in the MCU. Marvel surely understands this, and it must mean the series will catch fans up with everything they need to know during the show's five-episode run. As for the name, Marvel Spotlight was the name of a comic book anthology series from Marvel Comics that ran from 1971 to 1977. These comics were meant to be tryout books, which means most of them feature characters who hadn't appeared before. Additionally, these were a way to test the waters about Marvel fully committing to a project that may fail. There. that Look, Marvel's in trouble. For the past, what, week and a half, two weeks... We've heard about all these issues, all the problems that have been going on behind the scenes with Marvel. And this just highlights that even more. Marvel's spotlight isn't about them, oh, we're going to make more grounded stuff over there. It's the fact that they don't know how to build a, a larger continuity. Something that we've all been worried about for a number of years. When you start getting into the television side of things and you're trying to connect everything, you need to have a solid plan. You need to have an idea of how everything will interconnect with each other. This proves that they don't understand how to do that. We're essentially going back to the old way that it was where there are Marvel shows on Netflix. And while some of those shows were absolutely fantastic and a lot of fun, there was always something missing. We always wanted more. We wanted them connected to the larger universe in a larger sense, and we never got it. Well, we're going to have the same issue here now. Now, they're just calling it Marvel Spotlight, and it is under the MCU banner, but not under the MCU banner. Again, it makes no sense why they want to continue to confuse people. Oh, they're saying that you won't have to have seen anything prior to Echo. I I'm sorry, but I watched the trailer. And in the trailer, it shows Kingpin with a bullet hole in his eye. Now, granted, they may explain that in the, mo in the show, which is fine, but then you're just doing something that uh, two times when you don't have to do it that way. Like, tell people, go watch Hawkeye. And here's the thing. It's not even that uh, people have to watch other things to, to understand what's going on. Because I do agree that sometimes there is a level of, of enjoyment that can be had from, a, from an audience member who maybe will watch Echo and say, you know what, I want to know what happened before. And they'll go back and watch Hawkeye. That's okay. That's that's excitement. That that's building on a character. The problem lies with the quality of what has been coming out. You don't want people going back to watch Hawkeye because it wasn't that great of a show. You don't want people going back and watching some of these old shows or old movies that have come out over the last four or five years because they haven't been all that great. So why don't they just say what it is? Why don't they just say, look, we have no idea what we're doing anymore, so we're just going to go through shit at the wall, and we'll see what sticks. We'll see if people like this, and if they do, maybe we'll connect it in a larger way. That's what I'm reading in this. That's how I am seeing this, because there's really no point when you do Marvel Spotlight, when you do Marvel Special Presentation, when you have the larger MCU Marvel Studios logo, People are going to get confused. People are going to wonder. And it's not the fans. It's not the people who watch every single piece of, of or every single project that comes out. It's going to be the people who see a preview and say, hey, this looks kind of cool. And they're going to go watch Marvel Spotlight. And they're going to watch Echo. 
well, let's say the next Marvel Spotlight comes out and it's not connected to Echo at all. They're going to see that Marvel Spotlight and they're going to go watch it and then they're going to be like, well, this doesn't connect at all. Because that's the expectation with Marvel now. When you see that Marvel name, when you see MCU, when you see the connections to the grander MCU, you expect it to be connected. And if they're going to haphazardly connect things here and there, well, that's just going to confuse your general audience. And the general audience are the ones that aren't going to see these films right now. They're the ones who are sitting back and saying, uh, this isn't good. This isn't good, and I'm not going to waste my time going to the theater for it. You'll always get your Marvel fans, your comic book fans, your superhero genre fans. It's the general audience. It's the general audience you need to focus on. And the more you make it more convoluted and confusing, the more likely it is that they're just going to walk away. And that is a problem, and that is why Marvel Spotlight isn't going to work. The show Echo might be awesome. The trailer actually looked pretty good. I was impressed with what I saw with the trailer. The problem lies, though, is how is it going to connect? Yeah, we saw Daredevil in the trailer. Is it going to connect to the Daredevil show? Is it not going to connect? Is Daredevil going to connect to the the greater MCU? Because if it doesn't, that's when you're going to start pissing off the comic book fans, the Marvel fans, the MCU fans, the superhero genre fans. You see how everything just builds and it starts to get convoluted and more confusing and makes it less enjoyable. And that is why this is not a good idea. And that is why it's probably going to fail. Regardless, let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about all this. Again, that uh, this could work out. Maybe, maybe. I don't see it working out. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more from me at Slavs Free Talk. And with all that said, I'll catch you all later.